Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop where I'm going to use this one and it's called the Dog House. And of course, this is of my puppers. And what I did off camera was is that I drew where I wanted the dog house at. I am using Echo Park's um, My Favorite Puppy or something like that. Um, and then... I grabbed some distress oxides and um, went to town. Now, I will explain that I started to use that white one or the lighter blue and it wasn't showing up on this paper. So you're seeing me use right now the Lucky Clover as my grass and to um, get it all colored so that you can tell the difference. I um, wanted to get a little bit of a blue tint around the doghouse just to um, brighten it up so I found the distress oxide stormy sky and it's not that it's stormy outside it's just darker for it to show up because I wanted it to blend in the background so obviously you want to do more than more than your line so that um, it shows through and I'm sorry for the wobbliness here it's part of the desk and so I just wanted to get it to where it's covered a little bit more and then it's a very distinct outline. And I'm just um, putting the rest of the color in the background. And then now I'm spraying it to give it a distressed oxide look and I'm oxidizing it. Now you don't see it too much, but you do in like in real life, you'll see that the splatters are there. So obviously I had to wait for it to, to um, dry and then I wanted to get this um I wanted to do this other photo and place that down on the bottom to even out the side of where the dog food is at and I did back everything from this collection it's called my dog from Echo Park it's the same collection that I used um on the other one from this week I wanted to get his little album caught up from the pictures that were from the breeders and then the rest of the photos that obviously I'm going to be using from now until then is um, the photos that are from that I have taken these were just the last of them so the one that I did on Wednesday and then this one that's going up on my channel whenever that is um, they're all from the breeders um, the breeder that we got it from um, that we got Asher from I wanted to, she was such an amazing um, breeder and I know that if we do decide to get another puppers for um, Asher, I think we're right now we're going to stay with number one because um, it's working out just fine, but essentially we'll see. And I would definitely go back to her. Even if we weren't in this area, I would definitely meet her somewhere, figure out how to get um, Asher um, one of her um another one from this breeder so now i did off camera i did a ton of fringe and i took out a color from close to my heart and i it's two toned um the one thing that i do love about the cardstock from close to my heart is that it's two toned um colors and so you'll see me play around with this to get it set up and then i do change it out a little bit but I um, absolutely positively love how this turns out. Now, you don't see the green all that much, but I promise you, you do in real life because it is peeking out. I wanted it to be all over, but a subtle touch to this layout because there are certain spots that when you look at it, you will see the grass or the black, the green behind um, the... Behind the fringe paper or what looks like grass that um, you will see the green pop out and I just love how this turns out I did give it all different colors and shapes and um, wavy stuff and oh I just love how this looks it's just it's just awesome um, obviously the main focal point is going to be the cup file on this but I wanted to bring in the ephemera pack and then also obviously just um other things i do bring in i went old school on this one y'all i did um the fringe 
cutting, which is really old school. I brought out stickles, which you're going to see after I get all the ephemera down. It's um, icicles. And then I brought out the liquid pearls, the oxide pearl, and um, Robin's egg, just because it just, it's perfect. Um, I do get out some American Craft, uh, they're um, thickers, but I don't know what collection they're from. If I can find them, I'll link them down below. I think they're really old in my stash, but it works for this collection too. And so then that's pretty much all of the the like items that I'm using. So now you're seeing me come in with this banner. And I come in with both of them because like I said in the previous lay um the previous layout I've done, I did get this collection times two. So I um had two of these banners, obviously. Ooh, that did look good there, too. I could have left that there just to add a little bit more to it. But you'll see what I do. I get the other one out, and then I kind of finish it off in a different spot. And I'm just putting back the other ones. I'll use them somewhere. I know I will. And then I place these little bits and bobs everywhere in the grass, just kind of peeking out out of the fringe. To um, just to add a little bit of something in the grass so it's kind of like his toys being laid around. Because let me tell you, this schnauzer, uh, this little puppers of mine. He's got toys, but certainly does not know how to leave it in the bag or put his stuff back. I need to teach him how to put his toys back when I say, put your toys away. Because let me tell you, he's got them all over the place. I'm constantly picking up after him. I thought a toddler was bad. No, I think this is worse. But he's certainly my Asher Basher. That's definitely. So that one little tag is um, Pup Dad and then the other one is Fur, fur Mama. And I thought that that was perfect because he certainly has given or gotten to my husband's heart, definitely for that token. But also, I mean, he's gotten to mine too. But he's really gotten to my husband. Um, I don't know what those two are gonna do when they're gone. So there is Asher Basher. I added that in there off camera because let's face it, it's American Craft thickers and. They definitely do not know how to stick, so I had to get them ready and then glue them down. So I really like how that flows right there and gave him his name because he started out with Asher and then Basher just came along and it worked. So I'm adding stickles to the frame of this and I thought that was perfect. And then I'm coming in with the blue, and you'll see how I'm coming in with that, and then I do a little bit more, and the rest of this film, I will be honest with you, is all about where I, I place all of these. Wait until you see what the clouds look like, because, man, they're just so cute. Like, I went so old school, but brought such a modern touch to this, or at least um, a modern Miranda touch to this layout, because I felt that that was just per you know it's just it just rounds it out for this little guy and this layout didn't take me very long at all it took me about 30 about 45 minutes and backing this cut file didn't take me at, at, at all that long I think it took me about 10 15 minutes to get it all done and um, you know that style of it so here I am I'm going in with my stickles now believe it or not I cannot believe that I'm gonna have to order another one of these because I used quite a bit of it already so far this stickles is the icicles the I yeah icicle and then the blue that I've used obviously I said that that's the robin egg and then the black is the oxide pearl from the um, liquid pearls and then obviously the distress oxides again are the stormy sky and the lucky clover um, now I'm just placing this all in there and then I do come in with my liquitex my white liquitex let me tell you Virginia Walker her shop is amazing make sure you go check out everything for her 
All of that stuff will be linked down below, but she's the one that got me into this white a liquid tix. I think almost all of us that are on the design team, or at least the OG, has has gotten it now. So here I'm going to round it out with the splatters. Uh, make sure you check the still shots. I do upload between two to three times a week. I am a design team member along with um, collaborations. All of that kind of stuff is all on my channel. I hope that you're all are staying safe. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving because I know this is going up after Thanksgiving. So I hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving. If you celebrate it, I'm going to round out with this. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.